I think humility is a really underrated um, virtue. I think it's quite unfashionable, especially in North America. Um, and I think it takes a certain amount of humility. It's, it's kind of like the 12-step program to just to say, I'm unhappy and I don't know how to become happier. Um, and I need help or I'd like help. And um, it's really true that first step is the most important one. So in a sense, Dharma training is the training on how to be a, um, you, you could say happier. I mean, happier is almost a byproduct. Um, we're not, we're not necessarily going for happy, we're going for clear, we're going for awakened, we're going for more compassionate, more loving. And um, happiness is just a really awesome byproduct, but um, really I think being a more loving person and a more compassionate person, those are um, better, better goals, if, if you want to call them goals. And um, so the training is, is how to get there, and um, the training is about learning to um, take mundane tasks, partly, not they're not all mundane, but many of them are mundane as, as the starting point for vehicles for my training on how to um, have a more open heart and how to have a more open mind and how to discipline my actions and my speech and, and my mind um, so, so that um, I can be more open-hearted and open-minded. And um, it's very challenging. The ego is a really um, wild beast and the ego by nature, by its very nature, feels like it needs to be in charge and should be in charge. And, if it's not in charge, something's wrong. Um, so if we're um, in the process of training and, and we've cleaned, and I think I started out a pretty sloppy cleaner, and, and my trainer would come along and be like, you totally skipped the corners. And I'd be like, er, you know, it's clean enough, or you know, why do I need to do the corners? And um, so that's my ego kind of um, coming up, not wanting to be told what to do, not wanting to be um, you know, one, in a one down position. And um, that's suffering, that's the source of suffering, and um, willingly um, undertaking the path of suffering and um, kind of overriding whatever my ego is, is kind of telling me and saying, okay, I'll do the corners. Um, then my open-mindedness, my open-heartedness, my discipline of my spiritual practice becomes stronger than my, my gripey little ego that is, you know, two years old and tends to have temper tantrums when things aren't going its way. And um, that's really what training is all about, is developing um, our different um, virtues and insights um, so that those are stronger than our gripey little ego, which is kind of um, self-interested by nature. So because it's self-interested by nature, it's contrary to being open-hearted and open-minded.